black wing descent is a raid from cataclysm that can be soloed by any class as of patch 6.2 a lot of players are interested in soloing the raid on 25 man heroic because each boss drops 125 gold on this difficulty while also dropping a bunch of epic items which can be rendered or used for transmog the entrance is located in burning steps on the side of black rock mountain if you have trouble finding the entrance just log in the video I usually start off by killing the Omnitron defense system. No matter which class you are, you shouldn't have any trouble in soloing this down. Just give it all your DPS to make sure that it gets down before using too many abilities or activating another defense module. A new defense module will be activated every 30 seconds, but if you just keep your DPS up on the same module and kills it, the rest will vanish. Then I go over to Magna and start to clear out the trash. Magna is also easy to solo, and just like the defense system, it will be easier to deal with Magna the faster you kill him. Once you've killed both bosses on the top floor, take the elevator down and go to one of the three bosses. I usually start off with Cinnamon. Cinnamon is in my opinion the easiest boss to kill, since he's a pure tank and spank boss. He doesn't even throw you in the air or stun you. Just DPS and move along. Atramedius is the boss in the middle room. You summon him by ringing the massive bell in the far middle of the room. A dragon with 12.21 million health is no problem for the hero of Azeroth, and if you stand still while fighting, you'll also get the achievement called Silence is Golden. Malarak can be the toughest boss to solo in the entire raid. He releases a total of 15 aberrations, which is small trash mobs, to aid him at certain points in the fight. When he goes below 10% health, he will release all aberrations that he haven't released yet. This can be problematic because they start to throw you up in the air and deal a lot of damage to you. If you can deal out a lot of damage, then just pop cooldowns from the start and nuke him down as fast as you can. As you can see in the video, I did that and I have an item level of 683. If you can't deal out a lot of damage, then wait for Malarak to release all aberrations by slowly killing the boss and dealing with the 3 to 4 aberrations that spawn at a time. When he's done releasing aberrations, finish him off and get outside. Go to the middle of the room and press the green orb. Place your hand when you're ready to face Onexia and Nefarian. Onexia will then spawn from the lava pit and Nefarian will transform into a dragon and start circling the room. Make your way down to Anexia and kill her. Don't pop any cooldowns as she's already easy to kill. Once you've taken care of the reborn dragon, Nefarian will land in the middle of the room and start attacking you. Lava will rise from the ground, so stand near a pillar and jump onto it once the lava reaches the surface of it. That way you don't have to worry about the lava killing you. Kill the ad on the top of the pillar once you're on top, that will make the lava go away. Don't make the mistake I did of swimming over to the next pillar to take out the ad there, it's unnecessary. Once the lava is gone, pop your cooldowns if you like, and DPS that dragon down. Congratulations on clearing out Blackwing Descent on the road. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe if you like the video.